Well, a day after the Oilers opened their preseason with a victory against the Winnipeg Jets, they played in two games simultaneously against their provincial rivals. It was a split squad, the first of which right here in Edmonton, and it was a 6-3 final for the visiting Calgary Flames. Five multi-point scores for the victors, including Matt Coronado, who had two goals, including the game-winning marker on this night. But make no mistake about it, the best player on the ice was Devin Cooley. He turned aside 44 of 47 Oilers shots as the Oilers outshot the Flames 47 to 26. I thought we, you know, I thought we had the puck a little more, but um, just made more mistakes, you know, especially, you know, um, on the on the line rush or in the offensive zone, turn the puck over, leading to odd man rushes for them. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just think there was too many mistakes that you can't have um, later on the year in the regular season when the games are important. It's exhibition. You're trying to learn. Um, get those out of your system. And head coach Chris Knobloch talked about the play from Raphael Lavoie here tonight. Of course, he was on the right side of Leon Dreisaitl as he put up a game high seven shots. He played really well. He um, made some, well, a lot of good shots. He could have had a couple goals. Their goalie uh, made some really key saves on him. But uh, I thought he um, played really well. Two games that he's been involved in the offense and um, been making some plays. And down Highway 2, it was a 6-1 final for the Calgary Flames as they had five multi-point scores in that one as well, including Connor Zeri, two goals, one assist, three-point outing for him. However, that game's icebreaker came off the stick of Mike Hoffman, of course, a big goal for number 68 as he is in Edmonton with a PTO. Now, after the game here in Edmonton, head coach Chris Knobloch said it's likely we will see Stuart Skinner tend the twine in Winnipeg on Wednesday. That's their next preseason matchup. And right before the game, it was announced that Evander Kane underwent successful surgery in New York just yesterday or two days ago. His expected timeline to return five to six months as put by the Edmonton Oilers. For this TV, I'm Tony Brar.